wanasiasa wana wakiamua njia ya amani kutakuwa na amani wasipo insight watu akitakuwa na incitement so this one is targeted kwao especially na, na, na viongozi wale wabako hapa make sure kwamba wananchi wote especially wa hii area yetu eneo ya, ya Mount Kenya unajua kila mtu atakupanda anatakupanda mlima wakipanda mlima wapande kwa amani yenye 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 message yetu watu wakipanda mlima wapande kwa kwa amani na nimeenda kushukuru uh, wakazi wa Embu kwamba viongozi wamekuja hapa wote na kuja kula hata shida yote tupende so, ku encourage Embu i set example kwa hizo county zingine kwamba eh, wanaweza kuja watu wote sera zao bila 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 kuwa na ghasia yote once once there is violence as hiyo uh, ni hiyo the criminal act kwa hiyo iko na investigation hiyo ni kazi ya DCI but we work with them uh, kubanisha wazi nini lilifanyika so furugi kifanyika yenyewe yenyewe it becomes a criminal act you know as we were in the preventive part na mtu akifanya incitement lakini kama ni furugu yenyewe kama ilifanyisha kwa ndele hiyo hiyo ni under the DCI na pia wana wana wana, wana, wana upelelezi na, na, na sisi na kutabadilika wazi nini lilifanyika Uh, uh, Madam CJ ali ali announce kwamba kuna kuna koti special zime 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 kwa kando kwa maana ya ma, mambo ya hate speech. Uh, Nairobi Mombasa Kisumu I think ilikuwa na na Eldoret uh, na Nakuru pia zilikuwa koti tano wame, uh, judiciary wametenga ku fast track ama um, hizi cases za hate speech. So wale wanasiasa ambao wanafikiri itakuwa kama hapo uh, awali mambo yabadilika. Uh, tuna tuna tu, tu, work closely na na, na, na DPP na na, na CJ pia ndio wale wakishikwa mastaka ni, ni, ni hapo hapo na wanafungwa pia hapo hapo ndio tubekwe lakini wanakuwa wacha si wengi lakini wale wale wameweza kutocha tunaongea nao pia pia separately na tunawaonya pia kwa kwa ujumla eh, kwa ujumla kusema kweli hata mrafiki wangu wa IBC yako hapa hivi atakwambia kura za mwanukaja ndio ndio mingi sana kwa nchi yetu na sasa hivi vile kuna uh, wale wanaogombea uh, Rais serious kutoka Mount Kenya. So Mount Kenya itakuwa determining vote. Itakuwa inaitwa swing vote. Whether you like it or not. For us to be able to have a credible, transparent election, peace is very important. It's a major ingredient in the election process. So we collaborate with them and all other stakeholders so that as we move towards the election, we have a peaceful process. The law is a law, yeah? So when somebody breaks up the law, we also have uh, other agencies of the government which are supposed to ensure that that law is followed, yeah? For us in the IBC, our work is to conduct the elections, yeah? We do not have prosecutorial powers, but we work closely with the, with the DCI. We work closely with the with the DPP, Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, so that when we also, because we, was also, we are also monitoring, we, also do, we also do monitoring in terms of ensuring that there is peace. When there are issues, of course, uh, they are reported, and the DPP, together with the DCIA, who are the agencies involved in that process, will always take the, the process of ensuring that uh, whoever has broken the law then the law will take its own course. Found doing that, although sometimes it's normally very difficult uh, to really monitor it, then uh, we have a law that is specifically supposed to deal with that. But one of the things that we are doing is actually to coordinate all government programs geared towards peaceful election, and this is one of them. But even in our day-to-day -day activities, one of the things that we have done as Ngao is to ensure that we team up with the key institutions and departments within the county. And one of it is IEBC. We have done voter registration, we have supported the IEBC. We know that uh, that uh, exercise has just concluded recently to ensure that those who did not register, register to get votes so that they can exercise their democratic right. That is one of the things we have done as a, as a county. Number two is to ensure that we put measures in place uh, geared towards enhancing security. 
One of the things that we have done is to reactivate our peace committee. Last week we also hosted the National Steering Committee on Peace and we talked to the peace committees in all the sub-counties to reactivate the peace committees and the Nyumbakumis. And one of the key things that we, which is also our mandate is to do sensitization through public forums and public barazas. So ideally what we are doing is liaising and consulting and collaborating and supporting all institutions geared towards peace to ensure that uh, we will have a peaceful election. We are also talking to politicians, of course, uh, through the IEBC to, sensitizing, to, to, sensitize them, to sensitize them on the election uh, laws so that they understand what is required of them. 